hearts, give you back your homes, or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. <laughs> Hey everyone, today we are going to answer a few questions regarding the last season of Game of Thrones. If you would like to have a question featured in an upcoming video, be sure to leave it down in the comment section. With that said, let's get into the first question. I think before the White Walkers arrive, we will see Jon have a short alone moment in the tombs under Winterfell standing across from Ned's statue, after being told he is a Targaryen. What is your thoughts on that? I really like this idea, and here's why. Since the very start of Game of Thrones, the creators made sure the crypts under Winterfell were not only a part of the main narrative, but also revisits the crypts multiple times. We know the Starks of old were buried there with statues resembling their likeness. Historically, only the Lords of Winterfell and ancient Stark kings were buried under the castle. However, when Ned became the Lord of Winterfell and Lyanna died, he decided the whole family would be buried together. That's why Lyanna has a statue down there, as well as Ned. Sure, if and when Jon learns the truth of his past, he may go down and pay his respects to Ned's statue, but I feel he will be more drawn to his mother's. Regardless, I would be very surprised if the crypts under Winterfell aren't shown at least one more time before the resolution to this story. What will Bran's reaction be when the Kingslayer arrives at Winterfell? Most people would probably say Bran will be angry, staring into the eyes of the man who crippled him. But with the knowledge and power Bran has now, my guess is he will be emotionally separated from the event. Bran is the three-eyed raven now. We pretty much should just call him that and not even Bran Stark, because that is the role that he has adopted at this point. If Jaime never pushed Bran out of the window, his character wouldn't have been able to progress in the way that he needed to. That is my short answer. Of course, there are so many variables related to Jamie and how the rest of the world views him. I think the last person we should worry about reacting to Jamie in Winterfell is Bran. Just think about all of the Northern Houses and how they perceive the Lannisters. Won't each episode be longer? Like normally they're an hour long, won't this season have hour and a half long episodes? Yes, the episodes will be a bit longer than the other seasons, just because they are running out of time, trying to resolve the big plot points, and the showrunners have to end the story in a way that pleases the audience, meaning there cannot be loads of cliffhangers that are never addressed. Anyway, next question. The first episode of Season 1 also brought us the Dire Wolves. Maybe we can see Ghost. Now, this is in regards to the first episode of Season 8, which recently the opening scenes have been revealed. Ghost was brought to us in the first episode of Season 1, and we haven't seen him in quite a while. CGI costs a whole lot of money and can take a lot longer to create. Whether Ghost shows up in the very first episode of the final season or later on, fans would agree we must see his character one more time before the series ends. Anyway, I hope that answers a few of your questions. As I mentioned before, if you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments and I will go through them in the next Q&A. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day, take care, and I will see you soon.